Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, CF5 with me, your host Charlotte. Oh, hold on. Wrong map mode. There we go. Um, so we just last left off, we have, we're going to establish... Um, oh, so there you go. We're going to establish a new trade route to Viangara. Let's see where we can go. Uh, Sigtuna looks like a good choice. Um, I kind of like the extra science, but they get way more science per turn than we do. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Yeah, because he has um, he has discovered one technology that we no don't already know, but he gets three science. So that kind of stinks. Oh. So we could go straight for the gold. Um, now because of... Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do Cahokia. Yeah, let's start with, go with Cahokia. There we go. Yes! Alright. So they're going to just pop down there and get gold. And I, Now from what I understand with that trade route, we get half a unit of um, luxury resource. So that would give us one of each. We already get one. That was actually silly. I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken... Well, I can't send them the other way. Min vän, det är min övertygelse att den uppgörelse kan gagna både mitt och ert folk. Ja, du har sagt det är sant. Det är sant. Ja. Let's uh, do that trade. Awesome. And he went into the medieval area. I don't even know which one we're in. <laughs> Let's check the technology tree real quick. We're in the medieval era, so we're okay. No, we're not, because we don't have engineering yet. <laughs> so we're lagging like, really, really behind. But the ir irony of that is. Are we in the medieval era? Yes, no, never mind. I'm gonna shush now. Yes, we are in the medieval era. Just barely. And we're about to get into the Renaissance because when we discover astronomy in a long, long time from now. All right, so there we go. That's me being a dev. That's what you get for not paying attention. Let's go down that way. And what are you guys doing? Farms, all right. Although they do have mountains over there, which could give us Machu Picchu and some other things that we couldn't get. Otherwise, I don't know. Hagia Sophia. Great profit and a free temple. Okay. So we can found a religion, but we, do we already have a... No, we don't. Oh my gosh. We're that far behind. All right, which one should we have? So we can have Judaism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Shinto. Shi We're going to go with Zoroastrianism. That's like the best. Um, if you if you play Crusader Kings 2 and you dabbled in the Zoroastrians, it's fun. They they like to you know have babies with brothers and sisters and fathers and daughters and all that kind of creepy stuff. I actually have a Zoroastrian playthrough. It's a very short one. I kind of got you know ganked and stuff, but yeah. So go check it out on the channel if you're interested. Um, da -da -da -da, let's see what we want. Um, <laughs> foreign city. Oh god, we got all the crappy ones. Plus one culture for every five followers. In other, I can get gold. Oh my god, I've never been this far behind with getting uh, religion going. Let's do the ceremonial burial and let's see what else we got. Each world wonder. We got a lot of world wonders, so let's go with that one. Let's found it. Yes, we're going to found Zoroastrianism. And then, oh my gosh, I thought we at least had founded it, but we had only founded the Pantheon. Now, how are we doing on trade routes? We have three out of four. So, what we could do is... Yeah, we're not going to do any more trade routes with that one, I think. Oh, he, they haven't built that yet? Let's build that one since you have a trade route coming out of Delhi. And... 
So Kuala Lumpur is now friends with us. Let's send them some money. And that way we will be allies. And we get iron from them. A lot of iron, which is good. And now we have a proper road. Hopefully the caravan will take that route up there. Which will be much, much quicker. Once we get the workers out of the way anyway. Alright. Let's go over here and do something there. So I guess because of the caravan having that pentagon shape the workers can walk, walk through them. That's pretty cool. Just worried that they wouldn't like each other. Now this is something that I was thinking about the other day. Um, when Civ 5 came out the, the st thing for not being able to stack your units was that it was supposed to come out on the PS3. But from what I remember, it never came out on the PS3. So why can't we stack units? I want to stack my units like I did. I want to have doom stacks that just assault a city and then, you know, decimate it. I've discovered silver The service. only thing that saves us from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. That is so true. So farms next to rivers and lakes produce plus one food, um, which is very good. Let's see. So this farm will be three, three, but th these ones are up two. That's good. We don't have too many farms right next to uh, to uh, rivers. Let's see here. So we have. Let's see. We have a sugar plantation there. Two and three. And this is two and three. So it doesn't affect the plantations. And it does not seem to affect the horses now. So it affected one tile. Two. Three. Two tiles. Three. Not the biggest improvement, but oh well. It is the road we must take to become um, seaborne. So we're definitely allies there. Um, Alright, so we have another cargo ship. Where shall we send it? Send it up to Kuala Lumpur. I think that that's a good choice. Let's do it. Although if we send it to Mumbai, does, is that added food or does that food get taken away from us? Right. My cities are growing fast enough as it is. There we go. Kuala Lumpur, yes. That's a, that's a quick little jaunt up there. So, Alright, so we are out of stuff to do there. Mumbai can do the cows. Let's, uh, let's keep them up here. Keep giving something to do. Let's continue buying the tiles. Up there in the mountains. Oh wow. <laughs> a shrine. Let's do the shrine. Two turns we can do that. We've been focusing on a lot of um, um, a lot of uh, world wonders. We should get some of the basics out of the way. Yay! So we're getting... Um, it has two trade routes. We're up to the maximum of four. We should... Uh, oh, we have a great profit. I was going to say, we, we should spread our religion a little bit. But let's enhance it first. Let's get all that done. Second follower belief. Um, plus one happiness, culture, plus one faith. Uh, I kind of like this one. I like the plus uh, production for eat one plus one. So if I have fifteen people in my my city and all fifteen of them believe in my faith then yeah we'll do that that's 15% that's pretty good um, and 
we're gonna go with the extra spread. No, actually, let's do the... Yeah, let's actually do the religious text. Let's enhance it. Yes. No. Oh, wait, we don't have the faith to do that. I was gonna say, let's buy somebody to spread the faith, but we can't do that. So let's pop down a temple here. And then what we're gonna build here. Chichen Itza, that's pretty good. Three free missionaries. Let's do that one first. The Bobadoo. Ten turns. We have pretty good production in our cities now. Oh, we're losing grasp over here. We gotta toss some money at them. 85 gold per turn. That's great. That's fantastic. Let's send them some money. There we go. And we got the East India Company coming here. All right, let's, let's go up there and build a lumber mill. They want the Oracle. Hmm. So we got. The, oh, oh no, we're not producing Chichen Itza. This this place needs to improve the production a little bit. Um. What can we build to help with that? We're going to do the lighthouse. They don't have much water tiles, but they're just about expanded out where they can be. So they're going to have to start expanding into the water soon. So we might as well be prepared for that. Alright, so that's done with its trade route. Let's send it somewhere else. Um... Let's go to Cahokia for more gold. Yes. Extra 10 gold per turn. That's fantastic. That's just so awesome. Um, let's buy a tile. Buy that one. That way they can't expand over there. Yes, that's, that's pretty awesome. And an additional 10 gold per turn. And I'm, I'm annoyed. That caravan is not using the road I built for them. What's... Ugh, maybe I should just remove the road. Alright, let's do the... Do we have anything that's faith-based that we can build? Um, no, but we can do the harbour. I'm going to do the harbour first. Extra gold is always good. You can do a lot with gold. Uh, buy a tile. Oop. It costs like two turns to buy a tile. Alright, so we have a connection up here so that it makes tran uh, transport between the two cities much quicker. And we're going to do a farm. Okay, so if we do a lumber mill, we'll get plus one production. So we do one, two. Um, let's do the lumber mill. Yeah. Hanoi is an under attack by barbarians. And another lumber mill. Okay, so we have now the caravan. Establish a trade route. Let's do Kuala Lumpur, it's better. And now they're going to follow the road. Awesome. All right. So let's see if the road makes any difference in travel time. Should probably look, just look it up and make, make it so much easier. No, nope, it doesn't make any difference in travel time. So for one gold upkeep a turn. I should probably remove that road. Oh well. <coughs> My 
My fantastic Zoroastrianism faith is not spreading very fast. Sydney wants Zoroastrianism. Awesome. Education is the best provision for old age. It's true. If you are educated, you are more likely to be, uh, you know, have a better retirement. So how can we get over to Sydney? Sydney is down there. We'll have to send over some uh, missionaries. And what shall we build? We're doing okay on happiness. We could probably increase it somewhat. But let's build that one. Gold for the win. Gold can buy us happiness, I'm sure of it. We sh this marble right there. Buy a tile. I can't. Because I'm in the middle of the turn. But I want to buy that tile and, and improve it. I mean, it's marble. I didn't even think about it. Buy a dial. There we go. Um. One of those city states wanted the oracles. So let's just build it and make them happy. I have a feeling we're kind of at the point where we could just, you know, pump out the various world wonders. There we go. Missionaries. Awesome. So, let's send one missionary over there. It's going to take him a while. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually going to get astronomy before he actually gets there. But hey. Um, Grand Temple. Yes, we're going to do the Grand Temple. And you're going to build one now. They can only spread it once, right? This unit... Uh, oh no, it's got two uses. So let's set this guy down here. He can do Mumbai and Kahokia. And the other guy can go over here and do Viyangara and Kuala Lumpur. Yes, um, I would like to buy a tile. You know you have money to spare when you're like, yeah, I'll just buy another tile. Uh-oh, somebody's out of the game. Oh, Har Harold Bluetooth. So is that the Danish guy? Uh-oh. So we have somebody who is... Uh, Bloodthirsty. Which is, as you could probably tell, totally not my playstyle. Especially in this game where you can't pile the units on, it's like too much hassle to like m micromanage them. Who knew? No longer allies. What do they want anyway? Do they have any quests? Uh, nope. Wait. Let's there we go. Nope, they have no quests. Nothing. Am I looking at this right? Yeah. Oh wait, they want ivory. So if I found a city down here, I could get the iron, I could get the ivory, I could get these two stone quarries. Hmm. Well, we could do that. Let's go up there. Okay, that was the weirdest pathing ever. Let's go down here where there is no road. Alright, let's do that. Uh, purchase. Instead of actually waiting and losing out on the growth in the city, we'll just purchase it. Alright, where can we go? 
So we, now we now that we have religion, we can send it, this this caravan down to Sigtuna, and we will get more gold, less even less science, but it will give pressure to them. Oh wait, 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 wait! We can go to Bucharest and Hanoi and Sydney and oh, what does Sydney have? Silk and truffles. This is all the same. Let's go to Sydney. Yeah, go for it. I didn't think that that was a way to spread religion, but that's a long way. Okay, here you go. Have some religion. On the house. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to call this an episode and um, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we shall found a new city. So take care. Bye bye.